in this lecture presented by www.free-academy.com, we are going to do a series of power rule practice problems. Now I've already written them out. We're going to find the derivative of 2x, the derivative of x to the third, the derivative of 1 half x to the eighth, the derivative of the square root of x, and the derivative of negative 1 over the square root of x. We'll start with the easier one, and then we'll work our way up. And before I go any further, just let me rewrite the formula for you. The derivative of x to the n equals n x to the n minus 1. So with that, we can start solving this. And any problem where we have uh, a constant out front, we can just pull that. Remember our constant rule. So this is the equivalent of 2 times the derivative of x. And to be fair, this is x to the 1. So our n equals 1, and minus 1 equals 0. Putting this all together will give us 2 times 1 times x to the 0. x to the 0 equals 1, and 1 multiplied through altogether equals 2. Sorry, that all got a little squished there. Uh, actually, let me grab a different color. This is our n, and this is our n minus 1. Let's go and we'll do another one. x to the third, our n is going to equal 3. n minus 1 equals 2. Our formula is nx to the n minus 1, substituting these terms in, minus 1, gives us 3x squared. Got a pretty easy pattern going on here. With 1 half x to the 8th, we pull out the 1 half. And then we find our n and our n minus 1. Then we plug everything back in. 1 half times 8 times x to the 7th, which equals 4x to the 7th. So those are our very basic polynomials that are pretty easy to do. You just pull the exponent down to the front and then subtract 1. Now, a little bit more complicated, the square root of x, how do we find the derivative of this? Well, if you think about it, this is the same as x to the 1 half. So our n equals 1 half, n minus 1 equals negative 1 half. Once we know that, we can just plug everything straight back in. n, 1 half, x to the n minus 1, which is negative 1 half. And this simplifies to 1 over 2 square root of x. Going with the same logic here, we have a negative, which we pull out in front, 1 over square root of x. With our square root of x being on the bottom, this is the same as 1x to the negative 1 half. So our n equals negative 1 half, n minus 1 equals negative 3 halves. Putting this all together, we get a negative times a negative 1 half, positive 1 half, times x to the negative 3 halves, which we can put together as 1 over 2 square roots of x to the third. And now you have a series of practice problems for the power rule. 